Elon tries all sorts of things for a long time. The name OpenAI refers to open source. Nonprofit is not changing it anything or going anywhere. The reason I, I am the reason OpenAI exists. You have probably used AI today, maybe to write an email, solve homework, or brainstorm ideas. But did you know that it all started as a nonprofit? And not just any nonprofit, the one that promised to give AI for free. And that nonprofit, it's now worth $29 billion. And the man who says he donated around $100 million to keep AI free, Elon Musk. His reaction to what OpenAI has become, it might shock you. He expressed a deep confusion and even an anger. How did a nonprofit, the one that he backed with $100 million, turn into a $30 billion profit company? He even questioned the legality of it all. In just seven years, what began as one of the most idealistic tech missions became one of the most controversial corporate transformation in Silicon Valley history. But here's the twist you won't even believe. ChatGPT. The app that's changing your life right now. It was never supposed to exist. It was an accident. It was born inside a company just three months away from bankruptcy. And yet, it ended up breaking the internet. We've got the leaked emails, the insider testimonials, and the full timeline of betrayals, and the billion dollar decision that triggered the AI revolution. This is the story they don't want you to know. It was December 11th, 2015. While most people were holiday shopping, a revolution in tech quietly began to born. Enter the Janes. Google, with 70,000 engineers and $280 billion in revenue, keeping AI logged behind closed doors. And then Facebook, with 60,000 employees designing algorithms to control your attention. Their unspoken rule? The most powerful technology belongs to us. But then came Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. Their weapon, a $1 billion fund and the boldest mission statement ever written. Build artificial general intelligence and ensure it benefits to all humanity. Their dream team, Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, Raid Hoffman. Combined net worth, over $200 billion. Shared belief, AI should be free, open and democratic. While Google hoarded breakthroughs, these idealists shared everything. Research, code, discoveries, all published, open source and free for the world. It was bold, it was beautiful, it was everything Silicon Valley wasn't. But beneath the surface, cracks began to fall. The first sign of the trouble showed up in Elon Musk's inbox in February 2018. Behind this mission facade, OpenAI was bleeding $50 million every year with zero revenue. Meanwhile, Google and Facebook were spending whatever it took to dominate AI. Elon sent an email that changed everything. He warned, either we become powerful enough to matter or we will be swallowed by the big tech. He proposed merging OpenAI with Tesla and raising billions immediately. The board said no, so Elon walked away. In February 2018, he resigned from the board, abandoning the very project he helped to build. On Twitter, which is now X, Elon didn't even hold back. He said OpenAI was supposed to be the open source counterweight to Google, but it had become the closed source, profit-driven company, ultimately controlled by Microsoft. Wait, Microsoft? In 2018, OpenAI hadn't even spoken to them yet. So how did Elon see the future so clearly? Because what happens next either proved he was psychic or he was more than anyone else realized. Fast forward to 2019. Picture this. Satya Nadella, CEO of trillion dollar empire Microsoft, slides a contract across the table. The offer, $1 billion. In exchange, exclusive commercial rights to open AI technology. For Sam Altman, it was a difficult choice. Take Microsoft's money and compromise the open mission or die broke while Google won the AI arms race. OpenAI had just few millions left in the bank account. Their next model required $100 million to build. The math didn't lie. 
After months of internal battles, Sam signed the deal. Elon's response was brutal. He tweeted, This is the exact opposite of why OpenAI was created. The warning had come true. OpenAI had survived, but the price was its soul. What no one knew yet was that this compromise would create the most important AI product in our time. In January 2022, in San Francisco lab, powered by Microsoft Billions, OpenAI had just made an impossible breakthrough. For 60 years, AI could only follow command. Search this or calculate that. But now, it could talk. Not just answer questions, but have real conversations. The first test. Explain quantum physics like I am 5 year old. Not only did the AI explain, it asked the follow-up question and adopted to the confusion and thought like a home tutor. Researchers were stunned. Engineers called their families. You won't even believe what we just built. Google was building robotic assistants. OpenAI had built something that felt like human. But with this miracle came a terrifying question. How do you release the most powerful AI in the history without even unleashing the chaos? It was October 2022. 47 people joined a Zoom meet that would shape the future of humanity. Their fears were real. Students will use it to cheat. Fake news will explode. People will lose jobs. Bad actors will misuse it. Safety researchers wanted more time. But the product team had a warning. If we wait, Google will beat us to the market. The compromise? Call it as a research pay view, not a final product. Just a public experiment. On November 30th, 2022, Sam Altman tweeted about ChatGPT. He clicked tweet. The most understated product launch in the history had just begun. The morning after the launch, chaos erupted. Engineering phones buzzed non-stop. Servers crashed. Queues exploded. What was supposed to be the quiet experiment became the overnight global phenomenon. Day 1, 100k users. Day 5, 1 million users. No app in the history had ever grown this faster. Not even Instagram, not even TikTok. But beyond these numbers, something deeper had happened. AI didn't feel scary anymore. It felt like talking to the smartest and the most patient teacher in the world. And it had an infinite time for you. On December 2nd, 2022, at Google's headquarters, the unthinkable happened. Sundar Pichai declared code red. Thousands of engineers scrambled overnight. It was the company's first ever emergency response in the 24-year history. Meanwhile, Microsoft gained 50 billion in the market value. Google had lost 100 billion following the BARD demo failure. The panic was real. The AI race had officially begun. By February 2023, ChatGPT wasn't just changing tech companies, it was changing human lives. Teachers wrote lesson plans in minutes, students got personalized tutoring, startups wrote pitch decks and business plans without hiring a team. AI had gone from science fiction to daily companion. What began as a broken non-profit, fueled by idolism, challenged by reality and reborn through necessity, became the $29 billion revolution rewriting the course of the human civilization. And the story? It's still being written every day by people like you. So the next question isn't, will AI change the world? It's, will you help shape what it becomes? Because the revolution is here. It's fast, it's powerful, and it's personal. And whether you are building, learning, or dreaming, make sure you're not just watching history. Make sure you are a part of it. And the choice is always yours.